Hi, and welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, August 14th, 2010. This week, Shape Up number 5, Trendy Squares with Two Rounded and Two Square Corners. Flipping through a magazine the other day, I noticed a trendy design shape on a number of pages. The shape is a square or a rectangle with two or three rounded corners. The remaining corner retains a sharp point, and I thought this would be a really fun shape to make in our series of video tips on working with shapes for digital projects. To make this trendy shape, begin by opening a new document in Photoshop or Elements. Set the foreground color to a color that contrasts with your background. I'm going to choose black and click OK. Next get the rounded rectangle tool. It shares a spot here on the toolbar with the custom shape tool and the rectangle tool. And now make a couple of choices in the options bar. Select the create a new shape layer icon and in the full version of Photoshop you'll also need to select the shape layers icon here. Set the feather to 200 pixels and then click and drag out a rounded rectangle on your page. Next, control click or on a Mac system command click the create a new layer icon here in the layers panel to create a new transparent layer underneath your rounded rectangle. Now you can get the rectangle tool that shares the space with the rounded rectangle and the custom shape tool. Keeping the same settings in the options bar, draw out a rectangle that is smaller than your rounded rectangle. Now we need to get a little closer so that we can see exactly what we're doing. So get the zoom tool here and make sure that you uncheck scrubby zoom and that you have the zoom in checked here. Draw out a box to surround your rectangles. Okay, for the next little bit get the move tool here and then drag your rectangle to one of the corners of your rounded rectangle so that it lines up with the two sides of the rounded rectangle and creates a square corner. Now to create the other squared corner, duplicate the rectangle layer by pressing Ctrl J or on a Mac system Command J and then press the Ctrl key or on a Mac system the Command key as you drag the rectangle into place along the opposite corner. Merge the three shape layers here in the Layers panel by Control clicking on a Mac System Command clicking all three of the shape layers to select them and then press Control E or on a Mac Command E on your keyboard to merge the three layers into one. Now you can use your shape as a clipping mask with photos or digital papers on your next project. This is a great way to use the digital kits that you purchase. Thanks for watching and check back next week for a next video tip. I always enjoy hearing from you. Is there a technique that has you stumped? Email me at howto at designerdigitals.com with your idea and I may be able to help you with a video tip too.